Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. Today we're in chapter 13, verses 8, 9, and 10. They read like this, You shall tell your son on that day, saying, It is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt, and it shall serve as a sign to you on your hand and as a reminder on your forehead that the law of the Lord may be in your mouth, for with a powerful hand the Lord brought you out of Egypt. Therefore you shall keep this ordinance at its appointed time from year to year. So, of course, we're talking about, again, particularly the Feast of Unleavened Bread and, in this chapter, more of the consecration of the firstborn in connection with this. And we already mentioned this, but one of the key pieces here is the retelling of the story of the Exodus, the story of the Passover and so on, the retelling of that story to the firstborn. And what we see here and elsewhere in the writings of Moses, there's kind of a standard teaching format. It's a father and son dialogue back and forth. Uh, teaching. You find this actually in many places in the Bible if you look for it, if you notice, if you know about it, and notice it, notice it in the uh, Proverbs and in many places. And we see it right here in this chapter as well. There's an ongoing discussion between father and the firstborn son. And these words are presented in kind of the first person language. Why? Because, and I've said this before, all generations are part of the continuum of generations. We all are part of Exodus frames a part of our identity, of our experience. This, is, this belongs to us as Christians. It's part of our background. You and I, if we've given ourselves to Christ, we are in this, this continuum. This is part of our history. Now, I noticed a couple lines in, uh, again, in uh, Stuart's commentary, and uh, they're so good, I just, I just have to share just a couple of lines here. He's talking, you know, in this area of chapter 13. This is what he says. The community of faith in every age is supposed to identify fully with the original Exodus generation just as one gets caught up in a powerful story, in a book or a movie form, or more significantly, just as one identifies with various kinds of values and commitments learned from beloved grandparents and parents. And he goes on to say, in God's economy, each generation of his people is expected to cultivate an identification with all the experiences of all the generations, and all the generations must identify with the events that have happened or will happen to any generation. Boy, that's interesting because, you know, it tells us what? That everything we read from Genesis to Revelation, so everything in the non-end time, so to speak, everything way back in Genesis, right, in Exodus, and also in the book of Daniel and Revelation, those, those last end-time prophetic pieces, everything there, some of which is still yet to come, but not too much. It's mostly all over, but there's a little bit, bit of the intense pieces still yet to come. All that whole strip of things, that all frames the experience of God's people. And so I need to be just as, as interested in what I see in the time of Jesus as I see in the immediately in front of us today in the book of Revelation, some of that, and as I go back to Genesis and Exodus and Leviticus, all that stuff frames um, the way we look at the world and it also frames who we are. It frames literally on an individual basis who and what I am as a believer in, in Jesus. So in, in particular terms here, the story of the Passover and the story of the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread on the seventh day, that story is retold, and it's retold, and it frames part of our story, uh, and so it's worthwhile to look at this. It's retold on the seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now, you might have noticed I didn't say a lot about verse 9. I'm going to save most of that, just one or two mornings. And when we get to verse 16, I'm going to talk about some of the stuff also in verse 9. So I'll just put that together, and we'll talk more about that there. For now, uh, we're done for this morning. I hope you're blessed today, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Hey, just a quick reminder, Mondays at 12 noon, America, Detroit time. Do a quick YouTube live here. Uh, invite you to come and put in your questions or comments as we share. We'll go over the, the most recent stuff, the most recent week, and uh, look forward to having you join in there.